friends, welcome back to Means of Escape and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how we organize our RV kitchens. Let's get started. time you might think that we are constantly eating outside roasting marshmallows by the campfire eating s'mores every night which sounds pretty great but when this is your full-time home sometimes all we want to do is just have a normal home-cooked meal on the stove or through the oven so in order to do that I wanted to show you guys exactly how many appliances I'm able to take with me whenever we travel as I mentioned before in a previous episode about organizing our RV closet, uh, before we moved in, we had a good couple months of the RV being in storage where we were able to measure out all the storage space and really figure out how all of our stuff was gonna fit. All our clothes, all our dishes, all that good stuff. We were able to play Tetris from there. So after that, uh, we came up with some pretty good storage solutions uh, and I'm gonna take you through all of that. So let's go. Now let me show you what I have so far. I have this storage space for what we use for our cups, um, our plates, our bowls, um, our storage containers here. This is like our multi-use section. Um, we actually also have these like felt material and uh, a uh, cheese cloth that we use when we travel to uh, put in between each of the uh, the dishes in case, um, not the plastic ones obviously, but like the mugs and the, uh, the plates and bowls and stuff just to keep them from um, clattering and possibly breaking when we travel. So these are always up here up top. Um, we have um, these I recommend. Um, I got them on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link below in the description if you're interested, but they are like these silicone um, baggies. Like we don't like to use a whole lot of plastic baggies, but these are silicone. So you can just wash them, put stuff in there. And then you have like your little, like, I don't know what you call it, but it zips up right in, in there. And then it keeps everything nice and fresh. So we have a few of those. Um, and then, so we keep them in this bag here that goes in there. Uh, we have our mugs, um, some water bottles, and then up here, I have a popcorn maker. It's very important. Um, and we have our uh, mixer, rice cooker. Dude, this is, I got it like Big Lots, and it's phenomenal. You just throw rice and water in it and put it in the microwave for like, 15 minutes and it cooks it so fast. I love it. So great purchase. Um, and then just, yeah, some cookie jar, stuff like that. So this is like stuff that we use the most of. And as you can tell, there's still plenty of space. So we actually took some dishes out because we just don't use them that often, but that's what we have here. Um, I also have some extra, um, like oven mitts and stuff that, uh, I put here and then we've noticed that just the way that I hung them, it kind of prevents things from flying out during transit. We've had some of the bowls slide out, but this cushion caught them so they didn't hit the door too hard or they didn't come flying out. So bonus. All right. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you guys um, an extra storage solution that we found. Um, I'm over here cooking all the time. I don't want to use too much um, surface area for storage, especially when I am cooking and have a lot of stuff going on. Um, I found these like magnetic spice containers that perfectly right here on top of the oven, just like that. And they just twist open and they're just amazing. They're like the best thing ever <laughs> that we found for cooking right here. 
Easy peasy. I'll put a link below in the description, Amazon. It's amazing. So I'm not sure if it's too dark in here to see, but uh, this is where I keep my pots and pans. Uh, I have, let's see, I have just a mixing bowl. Um, this is um, the only pan that we really have um, other than uh, we have this pan and then we have a cast iron skillet that um, Ryan cooks cast iron 100% of the time. He doesn't use anything else. Um, and that just lives on the stove, but this is mine cause I'm not that comfortable with cast iron yet. Um, but I have this one and, uh, I have, this is where we just layer everything with nesting. So we have our, we have like three pan, three pots. And then we have, I have yet to use this, but I am convincing myself that I still need it. Um, I have so these uh baking for like pies and cakes and stuff um i need to get on that but um it nests perfectly in here and then these we actually use mostly when we're boondocking so they're collapsible open it sinks so when we're trying to conserve water uh we just open up a couple of these, put water, soap and water in it. And um, this is what we use. So we're conserving water and then we're conserving space in our holding tanks, in our um, gray, in our gray tanks. So once we're done uh, doing dishes, we just toss out the water or we use it um, in the bathroom. So um, that's where these live. Uh, we also in here, let me see, we have, these are my cutting boards. So I don't have like an actual, like a, hard shell board. I have these mats. These are my cutting mats. Look at, they're like customized for each item of food. So, but they're nice, really easy to clean. Um, they're like sticky kind of on the back. So they're not going to slide when you use them. Uh, I recommend them. Uh, but, um, and there they obviously they fit perfectly in here. They don't take up hardly any space. Um, and then um, I used to do these in my apartment a lot, but I have these hook or these, um, command strip hooks that I just put on the door of each. And there's a few in here that it just, it just puts, uh, makes it so easy to put the lids away. Keep, they hold pretty well. So just kind of make sure that it's the right angle. And then you have in, like this, the stickiness is, is the, is the strong enough for the weight one last thing that goes in here, I got this for my birthday one year and I love it. It's a collapsible spaghetti strainer. It just sits right in your sink and then you can even adjust it to the length of your sink, but um, just sits in there, dumps in there, give it a good shake, you know, do, do your thing. And then it just goes away, hides in here perfectly. It just helps me a lot because um, I also have a handheld strainer thing, but like if it's really heavy, my wrist gives out and then splatters everywhere in the sink. It's no fun. So that was a great birthday present. Thanks, Rai. Um, so yeah, that's everything that fits in here. So let me show you what I use for my bigger appliances. I have a uh, slow cooker in there, uh, a ninja blender, and a couple casserole dishes. Uh, this is the uh, booth for the dining room. It uh, The seat comes up and it's hollow, so it stores in there perfectly. And afterwards, there you go. Afterwards, you just put the seat cover over it and it hides away. You hungry? <laughs> is it lunchtime? So in a perfect world, when my house is squeaky clean, this is my setup for the kitchen counter. I have the my knives, my knife block here. I have a couple caddies. I have caddy here for utensils, and then I have a caddy here for um, for cooking uh, the different stuff that I need. Um, and then Ryan keeps his cast iron skillet and his coffee pot here. They live here. Um, I have my sourdough starter ready to go. Ryan built me this, um, paper towel rack. Uh, it, the RV came with a really 
flimsy one that I just hated. So Ryan uh, picked up some wood and he and my father-in-law actually built this for me. So that's really fun and it matches. Uh, the For my um, oven, I keep my cooking sheets. They live in the oven. And then I have a pizza stone in here that stays in here all the time. It actually helps uh, spread the temperature out evenly throughout the oven. Um, RV ovens are pretty notorious for not having a pretty consistent temperature all around. So the pizza stone actually helps keep that temperature evenly throughout the entire space. So again, this is in a perfect world when my house is clean. This is how I have my setup for my RV kitchen counter. Next, I wanted to show you guys uh, where I keep the rest of my um, utensils. Uh, I have my measuring cups, the mixers, like, um, you know, I have my pizza cutter, can opener, stuff like that. Um, I have these dividers. I got them on Amazon. They're okay. I'm not crazy about them, but, but they work for now. Uh, I got this garlic chopper. Um, I really like it. I got it at, like, Bed Bath & Beyond, so it's really nice. And then I recommend these guys. They're, like, you put on the top of your um, opened uh, soda cans so that they um, stay fresh and they don't lose their fizz. And here, yeah, again, more dividers, but um, I have another chopper. I have a sushi maker. That's really fun. Um, some chopsticks, and then I have like color-coded um, items, more like apple chopper, lighter, um, cheese grater, stuff like that. So uh, this is really all that I use, uh, and it doesn't take up hardly any space at all, and it stays pretty organized. Next, I wanted to show you guys our fridge. When people come to visit, they're actually surprised that we have a decent sized fridge. I don't know, I guess when people think RVs, they assume that the fridge space is pretty limited, but we've been pretty satisfied with it. So I wanted to show you guys. So we have, uh, this is probably not a good example because I need to go get more groceries. Um, so it's not a good representation of how much you can fit into it, but uh, we have a full size gallon of milk we have that um, egg carton is for a dozen and a half, so it's a bigger sized carton of eggs. Um, you have three tiers here. You have your two um, crispers in there. Um, we got three tiers for sauces and drinks. Um, it's a good size deep. It's like to my elbow deep. Uh, and we've been really satisfied with it. The few times that we've run out of space uh, was because we were buying in bulk. Um, I had um, one Christmas, I had a side hustle where I cooked and sold tamales. I made five, over 500 tamales and I made them right here just in the this kitchen. So if I can do that with this kitchen, there's not much I can't do. Um, maybe I should make a tamale making episode. Uh, what do y'all think? Does that sound like a good idea? Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Anyway, uh, so this is our freezer. We have, um, it's again, it's a decent sized freezer. Uh, we don't use it for too much. There's not too much in there, but when we have ice cream, it comes in real handy. Um, oh, for when we are buying in bulk, like for the tamales, when we did have a lot of extra ingredients that we couldn't fit all in this fridge, we have an outdoor kitchen, which we have a smaller size fridge that we put the excess into. And I'll show you guys that in a second, but um, that's our fridge. Now I wanted to show you my pantry. I think technically it was supposed to be a closet for the guest room, but we went ahead and modified it to meet our own needs. And now it makes a pretty decent pantry. It's pretty big. Uh, it's really tall and it goes back like over a couple feet. Like it's a, it's like to my arm, but we have uh, these OXO containers that I use. They come in really handy. I really like them. Again, I'll put a link below in the description for them. And uh, for different things, we have, let's see, the bottom I have for cleaning supplies, but everything else I have for, for food, like we have our canned goods, our dry goods, uh, spices like that. Uh, we have 
mason jars that we keep in here. Uh, I have not had a problem with them being in here when we travel. They've never, uh, they've never clinked or cracked or anything. Uh, knock on wood. Um, partly because this is so packed full of stuff. Um, so we've never had a problem with that. I have these, um, spice clips here that they work really well with like the McCormick brand, uh, spices. They just clip right into there. So that's really handy for stuff that I don't use a lot um, that are not on the stove. I don't use that often. I just keep them here. And uh, I have this um, carousel that spins around that I get to use a lot, pretty handy. Um, I have this in my apartment and I used to use it in the bathroom on my vanity, uh, but it works just as well in here. And I've learned, especially because it's so tall, if you have the vertical space, use it. Uh, it's just much better than using the surface area and it keeps your um, space looking much tidier. Go up rather than out with your space. We're really happy with this pantry. We really liked how it turns out. Uh, it is really deep. So especially here, we I tend to lose a lot of stuff in the back. So I don't know if they have anything like, um, a, I imagine in my head like shelves, like tracked like trays on a track that just can come all the way out and I can just see everything in there and I don't lose anything in the back. I don't know if they make those. I don't know, just do you, does that make any sense? Do you know what I'm talking about? Comment below and let me know if I'm crazy. But I think that would be amazing in here. But it fits everything. Like we could put so much more in there and we do when we have more groceries, but it's fit pretty well. And finally, we have our outdoor kitchen. We cannot use this place enough we love using it on a beautiful day out here with friends and family by the campfire, by the lake, all that jazz. So we love this thing. It um, comes with, it has its own sink. So that's really helpful. And it has its own uh, stove that comes out like so. And comes out like that. Two burners, good to go. We have um, just a drawer for um, for like grilling utensils. Oh, this does have hookups for an add-on grill, um, which we don't have quite yet, but we do do some grilling out here, so that's what uh, these come in handy for. Um, here's the fridge I was talking to you about. Like when we're buying in bulk, um, we put the excess ingredients and groceries in this little puppy. We have um, plenty of cupboard space for our outdoor dishes. Uh, we have like our paper plates, paper towels, cups, all that stuff um, for outside. It's a little bit more durable. And again, like we have extra space. Like we don't have anything to put in here yet. So uh, I think at, on Christmas day, we were out here with family. Um, I was cooking rice, preparing the salmon here on the counter, and then Ryan was able to just take the salmon, cook it on the campfire, and it was the best. It doesn't get much better than that. So that's, that's another bonus of being out here, living the way we do. We can cook inside or outside. Oh, and as an added bonus, they have, we have these outlets here for like um, other appliances or whatever, like if I bring my mixer out here or whatever, um, or they added, there's a um, cable hookup here. So if you wanted, you could hook up a TV here um, to watch while you're outside. So that's kind of cool. And that's it. That's how we organize our RV kitchens. Hope this was helpful to some of you who were interested, but maybe still on the fence about going tiny. Um, remember that your storage space is only limited by your imagination and your flexibility. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, share. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.